We got an awesome full body, I mean a lower body today. Carla, let's break it out. Hard work on three. One, two, three. Hard work. All right, guys, spread it out. Go ahead, take that right arm. We're just gonna bring that right arm across the body. Just gonna get a good little pull on that arm. Get those wrists moving. We want to fill out the body, guys, every day. No work out before we just get crazy with our workout. Shake that out, shake that out. Switch it up. Oh yeah, yeah, take it off. Keep that wrist moving, guys. Shake that out, shake that out, shake that out. Let's get behind the head, get a good little pull on the elbow, push back on the hand. Good job, shake those arms, shake those arms. Switch it up. I'm excited for this workout, guys. I ate two hours ago, body's ready to get it. Shake it out, shake it out. It is leg day. Let's go ahead and start getting those legs opened up, guys, just to the outside. Work on those hip flexors. Make sure you're engaging that core. Make sure you guys are breathing. Keep going guys, keep going. Nice wide open hips. Let's grab that right foot guys, we're gonna get a little bit of stretch in. We're gonna go ahead and grab our foot so we get a little bit of a pull on the quads. Set that one down, let's go ahead and switch it up. You guys can use a band in some of these exercises today. It's not required. We are gonna have some weights that we're gonna be playing with, but again, it's not required. You guys can do all these movements with just your bodies. Go ahead and set that one down, guys. All right, we're gonna start out with the infamous jumping jack, one of my favorites. This is what a jumping jack looks like right here. Modification is Carla. We're stepping out to the side, or we're bringing those knees up into the air. But make sure you guys keep those arms moving. Make sure you keep those legs moving this entire class. All right, fam, so we have 30, 30 jumping jacks. I wanna hear you guys count with me. On my pace, here we go in three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, come on, Carla. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 30. Good job. 31, 32. All right, that's it. We're getting crazy. Good job, guys. Keep those bodies moving. It's a little colder out there. We're going to jump straight into lunges. What we're looking for in a lunge is that you're stepping forward. You're staying nice and tall without upper torso. And you're not using those hands to push up. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. At your own pace. Start out slow and controlled. And then build up momentum. Good job, let's go. Breathe into your nose, out to your mouth. Nice and tall, nice and strong, nice and powerful. You can't go down all the way, that's okay. You can modify your just right here. Keep going though, keep going, 20 seconds. Let's get it. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Walk around that living room, but you're still moving. All we're gonna ask you guys to do is grab a weight. Grab one of your items. Whether it's a water jug, whether it's a kettlebell. We're gonna do toe touches, toe taps for the next 40 seconds. Strong core. And you're tapping your object, you're getting on top of it. Pump those arms. If you got something a little taller, go taller, okay? We got 40 seconds on the clock. Here we go in three, two, one, go. Toe test, baby, come on. Open up that core, let's get it. Good 
job, man. Good job. Get that foot up. Let's go. Pick up the pace. Switch. One, two, three, four, 
jacks to close it up. This time, we're going to be doing 40 jumping jacks. 40, quarenta. There we go, fam. 40 jumping jacks in three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four. Come on, Carla. exercise and we're going to do four rounds of this rotation okay move your body the entire time have a strong core breathe through it it'll be over very quickly all right fam so our first exercise we're going to perform for 30 seconds is going to be the kettlebell swing or dumbbell swing or backpack swing depending on what you have when we're performing this bad boy you want to have a nice strong core you want to have a good nice Back curve, you want to slightly hinge at the hips, let that weight fall through, and drive your hips forward to bring the weight into the air. It's not using your arms, okay? It's using the hip drive from right here. You're going to squeeze your butt in the back and it's going to pop that weight up. We're going to do that for 30 seconds. Then we're going to do a squat with a foot touch. This will be a little bit more conditioning. So we're going to get a good air squat. And then we're gonna tap a foot. Air squat, tap the other foot. Air squat, tap the other foot. If it's hard for you to get that leg up, to touch it, to tap it, you could just get that squat and just get that leg out to the side. Squat, leg out to the side. 30 seconds of that. Next, we're gonna do a weighted lunge. We're gonna do a total of 15 seconds on this leg and then a total of 15 seconds on the other leg. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your weight, just put it in one hand, get into a nice deep lunge. From here, you're gonna just pulse in that position. We're doing all these workouts for 30 seconds, but since this is gonna be isolating one leg, we're gonna do 15 seconds with one leg, and then we're gonna switch 15 seconds with the next. We're pulsing this out, nice open legs on that. Strong stability when you're holding that weight. Shoulders back and down on that. Next, we're gonna be doing a goblet side squat. So you're gonna put that weight, there's two spots you can put it. You can put it under the chin, or you can put it down below. Just whatever feels best for you guys. You're gonna get a nice open sumo stance and you're gonna squat over to one side and then squat over to the next. If it's hard for you to hold it down below, you can also hold it up top here. It's gonna engage a little bit more of that core if you hold it up top, all right? Next, we're gonna do a front squat with the curtsy. So you're gonna be in that front squat position. From here, you're gonna hit a front squat and then you're gonna do a curtsy. So that means that that leg is going to be going back and over, touching down, coming up. Back over, touching down, coming up. So with that weight the whole time underneath that chin. And then we're going to be doing a frog glute squeeze. You can use a resistant band for that one too. 
You can put a resistant band if you want. You can have that around your legs your thighs. Or you can just put the weight on your hips. Squeeze those feet together, squeeze that butt, drive those hip hips off the ground. Hold it for a second, go right back down. We're doing that for 30 seconds. You can do it with no weight or with a little bit of weight. And then we're gonna rest for one minute. Okay guys, so we have a total of six exercises. The kettlebell swing, Woo. the squat foot touch, the weighted lunge left, the weighted lunge right. You got the goblet, or sorry, the goblet side squat. And then you got the front squat curtsy and then a rest. We're doing four rounds of that, guys. Get those bodies moving. Let's get this party started. We're just gonna need one weight, baby. We are gonna be doing four rounds, guys. 30 seconds is on the clock. Woo, here we go. My body, baby, my favorite day. As you know, as everybody knows. Let's get the tune going. Not feeling that a little too much. Here we go, guys. In three, two, one. Kettlebell swing. Go. Don't hit me, baby. Strong core. 15 seconds. Make sure you're moving, 
guys, don't just sit there. Twenty seconds, guys. Twenty seconds. We're doing the kettlebell swing first. Woo! Here we go, fam. In five, four, three, two, one, go! Kettlebells.
Open up switch. In five, four, three, two, one, go. Remember, strong core. Squeeze your booty to the back. Last one, guys. Last one. That one's even. Mama. 
a little bit of the core circuit we gotta go over. We pull out the legs, let's hit the core just a little bit more. This one's not gonna take too long guys. Just a two minutes, two and a half, maybe three minutes max. Oh. Let your body bounce back on this one. Just keep moving around a little bit. 
keep those legs moving. All right, fam, let's hit it. Let's go over it. So, our core exercise, we are going to be doing a total of two rounds on this. Two rounds, guys. We're going to be doing each exercise for 30 seconds, just like the workout. The first one is going to be bird dogs. There's two ways you can set this up. You could be on your hands and your knees, and you're just going to pulse in and out, in and out, so we're really crossing. Or you can go back up to our original warm up. But this one, you want to focus on those hands going straight up, straight up. We're not bringing the elbows in. So you can decide. If you're on your knees, you're moving your arms and your elbows. If you're standing up, you're just lifting hand and leg up. You're lifting hand and leg up. 30 seconds on that one. Next, we're going to be doing circles with our feet. This one's going to hurt after this leg day. So you're going to be. In a plank position, or your, your feet are going to be in a circle. You're going to create, you're going to draw a circle. We're going to do one side for 15 seconds, and then I'll tell you when to switch, and we're going to go the other way for 15 seconds. Draw your circles, try and keep your feet low to the ground. And then the last one, we're going to do a plank, but we're going to be rotating our hips side to side. Probably come this way. Up and down. Yeah, up and down. So you can see you drop your hips. There you go. Yeah, so there we go. And then you're going to be dropping left to right. Left to right. So strong core engagement. You're trying not to fall over, but you're just rotating. We got 30 seconds on the clock, fam. Woo! Get into your position for your bird dog. Which one are you doing? You doing on your hands and knees or are you doing? You doing that one? Alright, cool. Come on back a little bit that way. Alright, fam, here we go. Ah. Two rounds, guys. 30 seconds each exercise. Get in your position, Carla. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Two different variations, guys. Two different variations. 15 more seconds. Next, we're going to our circles. In three, two, one, go. On our back in our circles. We got these for 15 seconds, and then we're going the other way.
five, four, go into circles, three, two, one, on your back, circles. Make sure you guys check us out on that YouTube channel, Carpenter TC, where we put more stuff out there, not just workouts. 